Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to SmackDown along with Taz. I'm Michael Cole and partner. We're just weeks away from the Thanksgiving Tradition Survivor Series. And here comes the man who thinks that he should be the number one contender for Chris Benoit's World Heavyweight title at Survivor Series, Johnny Nitro. And hey, why not? The guy's no stranger to gold. Take him gold, at least. He's young and he's hungry. And he's got something to prove here tonight in this match. And now here comes the number one contender fans are clamoring for, Taz. There's no question why SmackDown General Manager Theodore Long named this man Benoit's opponent at Survivor Series, if you ask me. Nobody actually asked you, Cole, so you kind of should shut up. But anyway, I do have to agree with you this time. He's at the top of the heap for sure, whether Johnny Nitro wants to admit it or not. And this is his chance to silence his critics, including Nitro, right here tonight. It's a sold-out crowd tonight at Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Michael Cole and Taz here, and what a show we've got for you tonight. Oh, man, I'll tell you, it's always great to be back in Philly. No doubt about that, Cole. You know I got a little bit of history in this town. You know what I'm saying? The city of brotherly love might have been the hometown of ECW, but I think the SmackDown superstars are going to redefine extreme here tonight. That was a textbook reversal. There's a superstar in the history of WWE who's gone from rookie to WWE champion as quickly as John Cena has. Yeah, Cole, but you said it yourself. John Cena has shot up real quick. He ain't picked up. And here we go with the submission hole. This could be a pivotal moment in this match. It sure could. There's a lot of pressure being applied in that hole, Cole. thing figured out but now i got no idea how this is going to end up neither do i Taz, and i think it's that unpredictability that makes it so exciting no doubt cole i've seen superstars get a huge advantage over their opponents and still lose the match because they got sloppy anything can happen in wwe an entire match can turn on one or two big moves and that's why you can't take your eyes off the action for one second you never know when something huge is going to go down. Aha! Uh -huh. Great reversal. This capacity crowd is making their opinions known tonight. No surprise there, Cole. The WWE fans ain't exactly known for keeping their opinions to themselves. These WWE fans just can't get enough of these superstars. And I'm glad to see it. A WWE match isn't just about competition, it's also about entertaining the fans. Okay, well, if that's the case, how come they got you as an announcer? I mean, that ain't exactly great entertainment, in my opinion. You might be right, Taz. I think it would be extremely entertaining to listen to you try to call a match all by yourself. Oh, man! I guess if you're gonna dish it out, you better be able to take it. He's got him covered! One, two... Wow, talk about cutting it close. That was almost three. Hey, the ref's got a tough job. I mean, trying to keep these superstars on the up and that's hard. Well, it's easier to get some superstars to play by the rules than others. Hey, you know what, Cole? If you're gonna get on your high horse again and give us another lecture about playing fair, he's going for the submission. And he might get it. He's got the hook. He smells blood in the water, Cole. He's going straight for the submission. And this could prove to be a... Looks like he's going for it. He sure is. The STFU is locked in. What a deadly submission hold this is. We might see a tap out right here. You won't surprise me one bit. The longer you stay in this, the more...
fans. What's Johnny Nitro doing with that chair? I think it's pretty obvious there, lady. You know, I've got to admit that you really showed me something out here today. And maybe you do deserve to be the number one contender. But, dude, we've seriously got to work on that image. And that's where I come in. Oh, please! Look, you're a pretty tough guy, but you've got all the personality of a block of wood. I mean, seriously. You're all steak, no sizzle. Stick with me. I'll teach you how to break necks in the ring and give the women whiplash on Hollywood Boulevard. I'll make you a star because you're good for business. And what's good for business is good for all of us. Did you just hear that? Johnny Nitro says he's going to help mold him into a true world heavyweight champion. You don't seriously think that Nitro's onto something here, do you? Aren't you supposed to be Mr. It's what you do in the ring that matters? Hey, champ. I hear you're locking up with Benoit in a non-title match tonight. Try not to let him land too many face shots, because I know this guy who's going to do a photo shoot for us tomorrow as a favor, all right? Oh, and just in case Benoit is more trouble than you can handle, I want you to know that I got your back, pal. All right, see you out there. The following con Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to sunny San Jose, California. You're not going to believe what we've got for you tonight. No doubt, Cole. Tonight's show is completely off the hook as we do it West Coast style. You got that right. And so are these San Jose fans. They can't wait to see the SmackDown superstars in action, and neither can I. Wow, great reversal. And there's the reversal. It's been a long time since I saw a crowd get behind a superstar the way they have for John Cena. Yeah, that's great, Cole. No doubt the WWE fans, they love John Cena. I get that. But this is not a popularity contest. It's a physical athletic competition. I don't think Cena's got any problem being physical either, Taz. There aren't many superstars who have accomplished what he has between those ropes. You know, Cole, I got a lot of respect for Chris Benoit, but he also jumped back and forth between Raw and SmackDown more than any other superstar. It almost looks to me like he might be choosing the path of least resistance, if you know what I'm saying. Oh, I doubt that very much, Taz. Chris Benoit never runs from anything. He's no coward. Whoa, listen, I'm not calling Benoit coward. I'm just saying that he might have a knack for picking his spots. And that is just about the last place you want a ring rope. Just about? I'll tell you what, if you can think of a worse one, I'd love to hear it. I don't know what's more uncomfortable, watching this or experiencing it. Uh, duh, uh, I think maybe experiencing it? Oh, oh wake up. I don't think there's a superstar in the history of WWE who's gone from rookie to WWE champion as quickly as John Cena has. Yeah, Cole, but you said it yourself. 
John Cena has shot up real quick. He ain't picked up the experience that a lot of other superstars have, and that could be a little bit of a problem for him. Well, from where I sit, I haven't seen a lot of superstars give Cena much of a problem. He's held his own against some of the most talented veterans on the roster. That's the problem, Cole. You're calling it from where you sit. I've actually been in the ring unlike you. And I'm saying back in my day, I would have loved to be in the ring with a kid as cocky as Cena as I would have cooked in school. A great many superstars have tried to do just that task, but Cena's still here. This isn't some wet behind the ears rookie. He's a WWE champion. And that's all the credentials you need in my book. Wow, listen to that chant, Taz. I'll tell you what, if you've got the crowd on your side or against you, it makes a huge difference, believe me. I think these fans know what's coming next. You know it, Cole. The FU. Man, get a load of that. Who the hell? You know, Cole, I didn't. He's going for the pin, Cole. What's Johnny Nitro doing out here? This isn't his match. He's watching his buddy's back, Cole, just like he said he would. My God, the speed of Chris Benoit! There it is, Cole. Benoit's got a cross face locked in. He's tapping, he's tapping. Benoit's not letting up, and Johnny Nitro can't get in the ring to stop it. Hey, come on now, cut Nitro some slack, Cole. He just tried to help his buddy, and it backfired in a big way. I think it was pretty cool of Nitro to team up against Benoit. Nitro is a tag team specialist and a multi-time former tag team champion. And just about the best guy you could ask to watch your back as your partner. I don't know about that, Taz. There's no disputing Johnny Nitro's tag team credentials, but he seems to have a problem with biting off more than he can chew. He looks like he's recovered, but is he actually at 100% here tonight? How many times do I have to say, Cole? That was all just an accident. Nitro's gonna have his back tonight. Just you wait and see that, girl pants. Benoit certainly got the best of his Survivor Series challenger last week, but can he keep the momentum alive here tonight in tag team action? That all depends on who he chooses for his partner. Nitro said Benoit could have anyone in the locker room. Who do you think he picked? I can't wait to see.
Oh my God, it's Batista. Batista is Chris Benoit's partner here tonight. Batista is just about the last superstar the number one contender wanted to see. He cannot be happy about this. Oh man, not for nothing. I don't think Nitro ever considered that Batista might team up with Benoit. Or maybe he did. Maybe this is all just another example of Nitro's so-called help. It's the city so nice, they named it twice. Tonight, SmackDown comes to you from the Big Apple, New York City. A place that I am very proud to call home, Cole, and also a place that I'm proud to say I made my WWE debut. It sure is, partner. And you know, it's always a huge event whenever SmackDown comes to the city that never sleeps. Watch it, he reversed it. We talk about raw power. He's going for the submission. And he might get it. He's got that hole locked in. Every time I see Johnny Nitro in action, I'm blown away. And let's think about it. He's still just a kid. He's got his whole career ahead of him. Don't remind me, Taz. I have enough trouble putting up with this. He can't his partner. who you were pulled for in this match, but I think it's pretty obvious since the beginning who you're looking for. I never claim to be completely objective, Taz. It's no secret I respect superstars who stick within the rules and show some sportsmanship in the ring. You gotta understand, Cole, I know it ain't exactly kosher, but you're putting your body on the line in there. Oh my God, I think the referee's out, Taz. Okay, they gotta start getting sturdy at refs, Cole. This kind of thing seems to happen all the time. Wow, great reversal. Nice reversal. And it, I'll tell you what, man, this one's just turned into a fight, pure and simple. We knew it was gonna be intense. We knew it was gonna be physical, but I don't think anyone was prepared for this. I gotta admit, it kind of took me by surprise, Cole. That don't happen too often. That's an understatement. You've been in hundreds of matches in your career. We both called hundreds more. We usually have a pretty good idea of what to expect, but not this time. I guess it just goes to show you, Cole, like they say, anything can happen here in the WWE. Ladies and gentlemen, we are seeing an incredible display of athletic ability here tonight. What do you expect, Cole? These are WWE superstars for crying out loud. They're the greatest athletes in the world. True enough, Taz. There's no off season for them. There's no month or two off between matches. They're sure, hey, Cole. I mean, these guys are here week in and week out, and every night they leave it in the ring. And they do it all for the WWE fans, Taz. Without them, none of us would even be here. Looks like he's going for it. He sure is. The STFU is locked in. He knows his opponent is completely helpless to resist the submission hold. And that means you gotta either dig deep and find a way to break it, or you gotta just flat out and tap out. And the crowd has come alive tonight with a chant directed at the superstars in the ring. Yeah, and you can't let that break your focus. But that's easier said than done. Hey, the ref's got a tough job. I mean, trying to keep these superstars on the up and up, that's hard. Well, it's easier to get some superstars to play by the rules than others. You know what, Cole? If you're going to get on your high horse again and give us another lecture about playing fair, I swear to God, I'm going to throw up. Is it so wrong to ask a superstar? He smells blood in the water, Cole. He's going straight for the submission. 
And this could prove to be a decisive moment in this match. You know, Cole, I got a lot of respect for Chris Benoit, but he also jumped back and forth to the Raw SmackDown more than any other superstar. It almost looks to me like he might be choosing the path of least resistance. I think these fans know what's coming next. You know it, Cole. The FU. Man, get a load of that. Who the There's not a superstar. He's going for the pin, Cole. Champion as quickly as John Cena has. Yeah, Cole, but you said it yourself. John Cena has. Here's the pin! One, two, three! Nitro's going for Ben. Looks like Batista's not having any of that. I think he's trying to tell Benoit that he wasn't in on it. There ain't no reasoning with the rabbit Wolverine, Cole. Not in that ring. He's got him locked in the cross face. Two cross faces in two weeks with friends like Johnny Nitro. Who needs enemies? You gotta give Johnny Nitro credit. He's doing his best to help out his pal, even though it hasn't turned out the way he planned. Or maybe it is, Taz. Remember, it wasn't too long ago that Nitro was saying that his pal didn't even deserve a title match, and he's done nothing but sabotage him since then. Sabotage? What have you been watching, Cole? I know you're jealous of a guy who's in great shape like Johnny Nitro, but I'm telling you right now, I think this guy's on the up and up. I've got to say, for someone who's gone through everything this man has gone through in the past few weeks, he looks to be no worse for wear. Of course he does, Lady Lips. This is SmackDown. You don't get to challenge for the World Heavyweight title by being some kind of panty waist. The World Heavyweight Champion has been absolutely dominating here on SmackDown these past few weeks, and he's heading into his title defense at Survivor Series with a huge head of steam. I don't know if he can be stopped. Yeah, but he's in the ring tonight with two men who are determined to make sure 
that he's not leaving with the title this Sunday. And like I said, I know you're jealous of Johnny Nitro, but I think he's going to make an impact tonight. I could feel it. I'm telling you. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to SmackDown. Coming to you tonight from Charlotte, North Carolina. Deep in the heart of wrestling country, Cole. This crowd is fired up, and I'll tell you what, so am I. An enthusiastic crowd of the greatest superstars in sports entertainment. You can't ask for more than that. Looks like they're slowing the pace down a little bit. That might not be such a good move, in my opinion. Well, come on. You just can't keep going non-stop. That's a good way to wear yourself out and make a critical mistake. No, but you can't give the opponent any time to recover, either. you got to stay on him and wear him down. And here we yeah. go with the submission hold. This could be a pivotal moment in this match. It sure could. There's a lot of pressure being applied in that hold, Cole. It's so great seeing these athletes compete here tonight. I had a feeling they were gonna wind up against each other sooner or later. There were times when it seemed like submission hold locked in. We may see a tap out right here. And even if you can't make your opponent tap out, this will take a lot of fight out of him. Man, I'm telling you, from my in-ring experience, trust me, you could cut this tension with a knife. I don't think you need in-ring experience to feel the tenacity radiating off these superstars' task. I don't think anything could be more obvious. Spoken like a guy, he's talking his opponent from the top turnbuckle. This could be three right here. I gotta tell you, Cole, I thought I had this thing figured out. But now I got no... Oh my God, I the referee's out, Taz. I'll tell you, they gotta start getting sturdy at reps, Cole. This kind of thing seems to happen all the time. Man, I almost feel bad for JR and King, Cole. When's the last time you think they saw a match this good? I couldn't tell you, Taz. I don't know if they've ever had anything this good on Raw. Me neither. Because I guess that just makes sense. I mean, after all, SmackDown is the number one. He's three seconds away from a win. This has been a great match so far. And I think it's pretty obvious which way it's going. Oh, really? Are you willing to go out on a limb and actually make a guess then? There's no guesswork involved, Cole. But if you're going to be snippy, I'm just going to keep my mouth shut. <laughs> Think these fans know what's coming next? You know it, Cole. The FU. Man, get a load of that power. I think we're hearing the First Amendment in action here tonight, Taz. It's a great thing to hear, Cole. I'm all in favor of freedom. What a counter that was. I'll tell you, all the WWE superstars are legit tough guys. But these... He's going for the pin. Watching these superstars go at it reminds me why I prefer to stay on this side of the announce table. Oh, come on, Cole. You know, you should let me train you. You could be Cruiserweight champion in like a year. Oh, no. I've heard stories about the way you train people. You make Marine drill instructors look like pushovers. I think we know where he's going with this, Cole. Here it comes. The FU. He just drove his opponent straight into the ground.
Tempers are flaring here between the champion and the challenger. You can say that again, and it's going to come to a head this Sunday. Whoa, whoa, wait a minute. What's Nitro doing? Johnny Nitro's got the title belt. Here it comes, Cole. I told you Nitro was going to make an impact. Nitro hit Chris Benoit. Nitro hit the champion. I don't believe it. I told you, Cole. I told you. I can't believe it. Nitro actually was trying to help the contender all along. It was Chris Benoit he was trying to sabotage all this time. Hey, champ. We sure showed Chris Benoit who's boss last Friday night on SmackDown, huh? If you do that at Survivor Series, you're the new World Heavyweight Champion. I wish I could be there to watch your back, but for some reason, Teddy Long says he's banning me from the arena. <laughs> anyway, give me a call back so we can discuss some strategy, okay? I've got a great plan that'll make the last few weeks look like child's play. Later. Hey dude, it's Nitro again. I haven't heard back from you, so maybe you didn't get the last message or something. Listen, you've got to call me back so we can discuss your title match. I've put way too much time and energy into this thing for it to fall apart now. Plus, I've got three magazines fighting for the exclusive cover story about your championship. I'll have my cell phone on all day, except for my 5 o'clock teeth whitening treatment, of course. Hey, you know, you should really consider that. I know this guy who... Well, anyway, uh, give me a call. We'll do lunch. Hey, Mr. Big Shot. I don't know what your problem is, but I left you two messages and you didn't call me back. Maybe now that you put Chris Benoit on the cross face, you think you're too good to talk to... Uh, hold on a sec. Oh, hey, hey there, Chris. What's up, champ? Wait, hold on, Benoit. No, don't... Uh... Too bad you couldn't see your little pal here tap out just now. But I'll be seeing you tap tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, we finally arrived at Survivor Series, and Taz, the Survivor Series match itself is always a highlight. But this next matchup is one I've really been looking forward to. Chris Benoit's World Heavyweight title is on the line right here in the SmackDown main event. And did I mention, this is an ultimate submission match. Not for nothing. What rock have you been living under for the past few weeks? Anyway, I can't say I like this guy's odds against Benoit without Nitro here to help him out. We have to admit that most of Nitro's help seem to backfire on him, partner. If you ask me, I think he's better off without it. Of all the World Heavyweight Champions I've ever seen, I can't think of one who can match Chris Benoit's intensity night in and night out. Not for nothing, Benoit's an intense dude, Cole. No doubt about it. And this ultimate submission match really favors the champion's style. We've seen both competitors fall victim to the crippler crossface in the last few weeks. Will we see it happen again tonight? And if so, whom will it be? TV screens cracking. I don't think Benoit ever won any beauty contest game. 
That's probably because he was too busy putting his body on the line year after year to rise to the very top of this business. Boy, this John Cena is his own biggest fan. How come all of these rappers can't talk about anything except how great they are? I don't think there's anything wrong with that, King. Exhibition is locked in, JR, and this is a tough hold to break. It sure is, King, and even if you break the hold, it takes its hold on He saw that one coming. Boy, what a match. I wouldn't even hazard a guess as to who's going to win this thing. What? Have you got both your contacts in one eye, JR? It's been obvious to me since the start of the match. Oh, really? Well then, why don't you just enlighten the rest of us, King? No way! I can already tell this is going to be a great match, and I don't want to ruin the ending for you. You're too kind, King. You're also full of horse manure, as far as I can tell. He reversed it! I've got to say, JR, I'm really impressed by what we've seen here tonight. How could you not be, King? He's got his opponent locked into submission, JR. This could be it. It could indeed. He might force his opponent to tap out right here. I'm not sure I agree with what the crowd is chanting, JR, but I guess it's their right. You're damn right it is. It comes from the price of admission. You gotta respect the commitment and the oh man. I've been in this hole before, JR. This brings back some bad memories. I can understand why, King. I can't even imagine the pain being inflicted here. The submission is locked in. This could be huge. Oh my gosh, JR. You can't go on without tapping after this. What a reversal. Oh boy, this is not going to be an easy hole to escape from. It sure isn't, JR. I've been on the wrong end of that one many times. This match has the potential to be an instant classic. And I think these fans are too stupid to... And there's the submission. There might not be any way out of it. There'd better be. But we're going to see a tap out right here. Uh-oh. Talk about a hole you don't want to find yourself in. No kidding. This will rearrange your anatomy. Sounds like this crowd's got something on their minds, King. Who cares? The submission has been expertly applied, and now it's just a matter of time. That's right, JR. You've either got to break the hold or get broken by it. I am so glad Chris Benoit isn't the World Heavyweight Champion anymore, JR. I couldn't stand it when Rock. I don't care how you feel about this superstar, JR. Nobody should have to go through this. It's painful just watching me, King. Eh? Oh, boy. Someone's going to be singing soprano after this one. I think the medical staff had better get the ice packs ready right now. You talk about ruthless aggression. Look at the way these superstars have been going after each other. They're not playing with kid gloves, that's for sure. We knew we were going to see a heck of a match. This superstar is going to be having any kids in the immediate future, JR. I wouldn't think so, King. Not without a medical miracle. Oh, my. This is not what those ring ropes were meant to be used for. Well, all's fair in love and war, JR. But after this, I don't think there's going to be a lot of loving in this superstar's future. So, how do you think this one's going to turn out, JR? Honestly, King, I have absolutely no idea. Anything can happen here in the WWE. But you've got to have a guess, right? I might, but I'd rather keep it to myself if it's all the same to you, King. And that is not the position you want to be in when you're facing the Doctor of Feminomics. It sure isn't, JR. The STFU is locked in. And you don't see many superstars get out of this one. There aren't many super... It looks like he's helping his opponent do a little family planning here, JR. Well, that's one way to do it, King. I don't 
think we're going to be seeing any youngins in this superstar's immediate future. Listen to the crowd, JR. I think they've got something to say to these. His opponent's down. He's going for it. And there it is. He's got the STFU locked in. What a submission hold. Could this be a tap out? It isn't. The hole can't be broken. You can't take this kind of pain for long. I think we're going to find out just how much punishment the human body can withstand here tonight. I think you're right, King. Wow! There's a hole you don't want to find yourself in, JR. You sure do, King. We've seen many a superstar tap out to this one. He's got his opponent locked in a submission hole. We can see a tap out right here, JR. He's got that submission hole locked in. He sure does, JR. He might make his opponent tap out right here. He's really cranking up the pressure on that hole, JR. He sure is. There's no doubt he's looking for the submission right here. Well, you can't ever accuse the WWE fans of being shy about saying what's on their minds. You sure can. And there he goes. The submission is locked in. Oh my gosh, he might make his opponent tap right here. I don't care how tough you are, JR. No one can take this kind of pain for long. You're absolutely right, King. We've seen many superstars tap out to this. Oh my, he's bleeding. That's an unfortunate side effect of this very physical competition. An unfortunate side effect? JR, this is what it's all about. Beating your opponent to a pulp. I'd like to think there's a little bit more to it than that, King. These are professional athletes, not street thugs. Chris Benoit thinks he's the toughest superstar in the WWE, but I think he's lying through his tooth. Will you stop? How can he possibly not like Chris Benoit? How can he not have respect for his accomplishments? What accomplishments? Taking 16 years to finally win the World Heavyweight title? I'm supposed to kiss his feet for finally winning the title after failing time and time again? That's despicable. You should be ashamed of yourself, team. Benoit has put his butt, his entire life on the line, time and time again, to entertain these fans and to prove that he's the very best this business has to offer. Oh, please, JR. I know you like to root for the underdog, but that's ridiculous. Chris Benoit is completely overrated, and that's exactly what we're going to see here tonight. I think this crowd has decided to exercise the right of free speech. God bless the First Amendment, JR. Boy, this John Cena sure is one of the most exciting young prospects in all of WWE. Oh, come on, JR. John Cena's a thug. You know it. I know it. And all of these people know it. It makes me sick that he's allowed to be a WWE superstar. I don't know how you can say that, King. Cena has dedicated himself to entertaining these players, and quite frankly, I find him to have more character than many so-called respectable superstars. There's a difference between entertaining the fans and setting up examples, you know? I think the fact that SmackDown could ever allow John Cena to become WWE champion is an example of why they're the number two brand in sports entertainment. You're not going to get me to say that SmackDown's superior to Raw. But if they were, John Cena would be a large part of the reason. Wow! Listen to these fans, JR! You can fool some of the people all of the time, and all the people some of the time, but there's no fooling the WWE fans at all. This is a classic matchup game. I'm so glad the WWE fans are getting the chance to see it. Yeah, and I'm happy that I'm getting to see it too, JR. I just wish they'd pick up the pace a little. Oh no, this is classic old school wrestling at its finest. You, of all people, should be able to appreciate that, King. Wait a minute, JR. You're not trying to say that I'm old, are you? Well, of course not, King. Although there was that rumor going around about your social security number was one. Superstars have any intention of taking it easy on each other tonight. That's not what they signed up for, King. And quite frankly, I 
think these fans would be disappointed if they didn't go all out. Well, that's easy for the fans to say. They've never set foot inside that ring. No, but they spend their hard-earned dollars to watch what goes on inside it. And without them, with all the other shows. Oh, boy. These fans have got something on their minds, JR. Well, they paid for their tickets, King. And they've got a right to say whatever they want. So, JR, are you enjoying the match so far? Yes, I am. I think these superstars are putting on more than a hell of an exhibition here tonight. What's your favorite part of it so far? I don't think it's happened yet. My favorite part of the match would be when you quit yapping and let me enjoy it. Now, now, JR, keep your words soft and sweet because you may have to eat them later. This is going beyond just being a match, JR. I think these superstars genuinely hate each other. There's no love lost between these competitors, that's for sure. If looks could kill, somebody would be pushing up daisies right now. And you've got to admit, that makes for a much more interesting match, JR. It sure does. But I just hope these superstars can settle their differences in the ring and leave it at that. For some of the things we've seen in this ring, JR, I think we're... You're putting a lot on the wall. Oh, my gosh. Can you imagine getting beaten with your own finisher, JR? These superstars are putting on a great match so far, JR. But if they drop the ball, these fans will let them hear about it. I don't think that's going to happen, King. These competitors know that their paychecks come straight from the... Ouch! Now there's a move that'll take the fight right out of you, JR. Well, that's certainly not the most technical of moves, but I can't say that's not effective. I think this crowd's giving these superstars a piece of their mind. He turned the tables on his opponent with that one. I've got a feeling that this has all the makings of an instant classic. That's probably just gas, JR. <laughs> Well, I did have to put it open the bar before the match started. I don't think that's it. I think I know who's going to win this match, but I don't want to say. I'm afraid I'll jinx it. Come on, King. Don't tell me you're superstitious. Of course not, JR. I'm not superstitious because I know that's unlucky. Okay. Any predictions about the outcome of this match? Oh, no. Every time I make a guess as to who's going to win, I never hear the end of it from you. Maybe that wouldn't happen if you got... You're not going to win a match by insulting your opponent. No. But having the crowd behind you can certainly get the adrenaline pumping. Well, from the looks of things, it's not hard to tell how this one's going to go. What are you talking about, King? I think this is still an extremely competitive match that could go either way. You know, JR, it's obvious that the only exercise you get is stretching the truth or jumping to conclusions. Well, judging from the shape I'm in, I don't appear to be doing too much of either, King. You're looking pretty fit, though, I must say. These superstars sure aren't going easy on each other here tonight. What do you expect, King? This isn't ballet, you know. Oh, really, JR? Gosh, tell me more about your in-ring experience. Well, I've got a pinfall victory over Triple H to my credit. How about you? Look at the fans, JR. They know what's coming next. They sure do. And there it is, the FU. What an impact. This capacity crowd is making their opinions known tonight. They sure are, JR. And I love to hear it. If one of these superstars starts to build momentum, it could be the beginning of the end of this match. That's right, JR. You don't see a lot of matches won with one or two big moves. You sure don't. You've got to lay the groundwork first. I tell you, King, sometimes I get exhausted just watching these superstars compete. I know what you mean, JR. I don't think most people appreciate what incredible athletes these WWE superstars really are. 
You've got to have some excellent conditioning to be able to do what they do. Well, that's the name of the game, JR. You gotta keep moving. No dog ever pee. He's going up, JR. This could be big. Any superstar shows the slightest hint of weakness, they've lost the match. That's for sure. No matter how beat up you are, you can't ever let your opponent know the extent of your injury. And that's easier said than done, JR. The human body can only absorb so much punishment. You can look at any professional sport you want, JR, and you won't find more incredible athletes than the WWE superstars. You're not wrong, King. They compete in... I think someone's going for a high-risk move, JR. These superstars are beating the heck out of each other, and this crowd can't get enough of it. It's what they paid to see, King, and they're getting their money's worth tonight. They sure are, JR. There's no question these superstars are earning their paychecks. Boy, it's obvious these superstars have done their homework on each other. There's no room for error when you're on the top rope. See, JR, this is exactly why Raw is the number one brand in all of sports entertainment. You're absolutely right, King. We've got the best superstar, the best fan, and the best announced team. Don't forget that. I was going to say that until you interrupted me. Now I'm just hoping I haven't lost past the moment. Oh, boy. These top rope moves can go either way. What an incredible performance by these phenomenal superstars. Did you expect anything less, JR? I mean, look who's in the ring. He's got the crowd and his opponent in the palm of his hand. That can change in an instant, especially if you let your opponent catch his breath. I don't think he's climbing up there for the view. These superstars are going to put each other through wrestling hell tonight. They've already got a pretty good start on that, JR. They have indeed, King. I don't think there's an ounce of quit between them. Yeah, and that's where things get dangerous. If you're I don't know where he thinks he's... Are you seeing what I'm seeing, King? Looks like the turnabout is fair play. These superstars are in terrific shape, and that comes as no surprise whatsoever. No kidding. If you don't have that conditioning, you're not going to last long in the match. You sure aren't. And that's only one of the many reasons I try to stay out of the ring whenever possible. I don't think that these superstars have even contemplated the fact that they might lose. I'm sure they have. That's not the kind of attitude you come in with and expect to pick up the win. You're right about that, JR. If you can't see yourself having your arm raised by the referee when it's over, don't bother showing up. I think I know who's going to win this one, JR. Oh, really? Enlighten us, King. Wait a second. Why are you so eager to hear my prediction? Because I want to know who's going to win. And nine times out of ten, it's not the superstar you pick. Or do you think this is going to be pretty one-sided, JR? I couldn't tell you, King. These superstars are so unpredictable that you can never tell. These fans love confidence in their superstar. And that's just what they're seeing from him here tonight. Well, he can do this until the cows come home. But that's not going to win him the match. Show up all you want, but it's not going to win you the match. No, but getting the crowd behind you can certainly give you the edge. It looks like they just... This is a mistake, JR. Everyone knows that overconfidence costs superstars matches. That might be true, King, but all I see is a very confident superstar who's got...
He did it. He did it. He beat the champion Chris Benoit in his own game. I never would have thought it after what we've witnessed the past few weeks, but we have a new world heavyweight champion here at Survivor Series. And let's give credit where credit is due. Don't forget, the champ's got Johnny Nitro to thank. If anything, you should probably thank our GM, Teddy Long, for banning Nitro from ringside tonight. Our new champion proved he was at his best when he left to his own devices. What a night for him.